and carers consistently have told us for the last few years uh, and way before that the impact that caring can have on their lives and their and, and, and their mental well-being but also their, their kind of physical health if they don't look after themselves throw in the fact that then uh, the paid care workers that would be going into their home had to stop they had to pick up the stress of uh, were they going to uh, bring the virus back home themselves to the person that was vulnerable they potentially had to pick up additional tasks of shopping and medication where other people weren't able to do that for them uh, you know many many young carers at that point started to take up uh, started to, to feel the pressure but their peers in school would have been uh undertaking zoom calls with friends or you know whatsapp calls with friends young carers weren't able to they weren't able to reach out to peers because they were uh shockingly taking on more care at that point and one of the biggest stats we saw was uh believe it or not there was just under 10 percent of young carers were providing over 90 hours of support a week at that point in time Give us a sense of that then in terms of timing, because for I guess for a lot of young carers, their school time, their education time is is almost a period of of respite where they 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 can concentrate almost on themselves, albeit also while they're also doing science or geography, maths or English. Um, and to remove that from a young carer's life, presumably was part or became part of the reason why those stats became so so stark. Absolutely, I think. For most young people, and most of us would look back and go, there was times when you didn't want to go to school and wanted to avoid it. But most young carers see that opportunity as respite from their caring role, the chance to be a normal young person. That, you know, that's what they get when they're in school. And to take that away, to take that ability to have some time away from their caring role, just to have some time away from uh, the stresses of, of that are really important. And I, we, you know, the, the research that we that we did clearly shows that because young carers were unable to interact with peers, were unable to have the support of teachers in some instances that understood their caring role, and because their caring role just increased overnight, really, really put a huge burden on young carers right at the start of the pandemic and throughout.